That was amazing. Bethesda, take note. That is how you take half an hour and show off amazing games. Even games that we've already seen, they showed off amazing stuff for it. And I'm going to say it right now. I'm going to say something right now, because before I just filmed this, I watched a little bit of the Treehouse Live, and I was kind of debating, should I put something, if they mention something, like, if they mention something noteworthy, should I mention it here? They mention something very noteworthy. So yeah, it's in here. I'm mentioning it, and because, and it was so noteworthy and so in, almost integral to this, I really want to say it. Nintendo, in my mind, is pretty much won. They pretty much won. They, let's talk about how they won. So first we see um, a little gameplay, a little snippet of people, you know, running through gyms and stuff, and people, hardcore people, you know, hardcore epics. And I'm like, okay, yeah, okay, cool, that's cool. And then they showed off arms, okay. Like, okay, sure, show that off. And then we see cool Fast and Furious watchers, I guess. They were Fast and Furious extras who came on playing Switch, and I'm like, oh, okay, yeah, cool Mario Kart thing, everybody knows that. Uh, no, Rocket League. And in my mind, that's automatically a, that, what? Rocket League on Switch. I, you just marked all my bingo sheet, and I, that's the first thing that, that drops in my mind. Rocket League is on Switch. That is awesome. So, not only... You kind of already have a win on you already. So they go through the montage of showing all these cool games, how they're being played in cool, fun settings. Like we're playing Rocket League, ARMS, like I said, Splatoon, Pokemon Tournament. It looked amazing. And that's that's a really good way to start teasing your games. So then Reggie comes out just to speak in words of awesomeness. And he's like, we're, we're going to take you on a journey. We are taking you on an odyssey. And then we didn't get in that Super Mario Odyssey right away. No, 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 no. What we got into was Kirby. And not 3DS Kirby that they teased back in that April Direct. No. A new HD multiplayer Kirby game. It's coming out 2018. Unfortunate. I don't even think that's unfortunate. We didn't expect this period. So I'm perfectly fine. Yeah, it's 2018. But at the same time, it's Kirby. Yay! I, I That looked amazing. It looked so cute and adorable, and I want it badly. Uh, it It's similar to Kirby's Return to Dreamland on Wii, and this time there are kind of some different characters. I remember there's a Waddle Dee, of course. There's like a Poppy Brother, who the ones throw the bombs, I believe. And it looked, and of course there was one point where all of them come together and made a big gigantic wheel to ram down enemies. The environments themselves looked amazing. We saw Wispy Woods again, because that's just as much of a staple of Kirby games as Kirby is, Wispy. And then we saw him, okay, he's attacking, but this time he just dropping all the apples. Just dropping all the apples on top of our, our Kirby and friends, and it just looked like so much fun. And that was a real surprise to me, because I figured if they were going to show a Kirby game, they were going to like wait till a Treehouse Direct and talk about the 3DS one, which they're probably going to do. But yeah, that looked amazing so again you just getting strong points so then the create then the head of the pokemon company came out and talked about hey you know reminder pokemon tournaments come on switch and we also said and here's what he said he said hey by the way we know you wanted a pokemon switch game you don't have to worry because guess what you see this pokemon is coming to this pokemon's coming you don't have to worry pokemon's coming to switch and now uh, that's like yeah, and he did say, like, it's not coming till at least till next year, probably. But it's still really good to know that, yeah, Pokemon Tournament's coming out now, but Pokemon, Pokemon, a main RPG Pokemon game, is still coming to Switch. So, great job. That is, again, a great announcement. Even though we didn't see any gameplay, it was still important to show that. So, then... We get a bigger bomb drop. So after that bomb drop, we get a better bomb drop. We see stars and space. And I'm like, okay. It's like, I'm thinking like, okay, what is this? Super Mario Galaxy collection or something? Or what is happening? 
we get confirmation of Metroid Prime 4, and now it says, now in development for Nintendo Switch. I think, if anything, that's about as much of a win as Beyond Good and, e Beyond Good and Evil 2's. Beyond Good and Evil 2's was a little better because they had footage. But, point is, Metroid Prime 4 is coming to Switch. And, while I personally am not the biggest Metroid fan, I know exactly how amazing people thought this was. I'm pr I, like, when I saw the 4 and the little logo and the screw attack logo, screw attack, uh, with the Metroid logo, not the screw attack logo, but you get my point. When I saw that, I immediately thought of how many fans' brains blew up. So, this is amazing. The, again, amazing. So then, of course, we go into this. So after that bombshell, we get a lo another look at this, like, paper diorama-looking thing. And I'm like, okay, what does this look in the game? But then it flips to see the Yoshi symbol. And I'm like, what, Yoshi? And then we see little yarnish Yoshi. But now he's in, like, a paper diorama area. And it's also it's also cut out and cool. And I thought, is this, like, paper Yoshi? Is this a cool spinoff? And then we see, and the theme of that game is you can flip the world around. Not Super Mario, it's not Super Paper Mario style, but you can ground pound at one point, and the whole world, like, me, like, flipped over to the other side, which created interesting gameplay dynamics, uh, like, on one side is, like, a big shadow wall, and you can only see the shadows, but then when you ground pound and flip it, you can see the other side, and see that there are coins and other hidden stuff behind it, and find other collectibles, and that was really cool. Another thing is that it's dynamic and layer, kind of like Kirby Planet Robobot and Triple Deluxe. So you can throw, but this time you can throw things to different layers, like back and forth. So one point he was throwing an egg to the enemy behind here. And at one point Yoshi was throwing the egg up here to Shy Guy just face in front. Like, whoop, and awesome. That is good. Again, great. It's 2018, but at the same time, I, I can understand it. And I still don't mind that. It looked amazing. It, it literally looked amazing. Like, I want to touch it. I want to touch it. I want this game just to touch it. <laughs> uh, it, it just, that was a great announcement. It, a lot of great announcements in just a few minutes. So then we get to Fire Emblem Warriors. We kind of get the story of it. It literally is the story of uh, Evil Dragon is taking over the kingdom. That's literally the story I got from it. And we kind of met the two new heroes. They're two twins, a boy and a girl with yellow hair, kind of look like Ren and Len, <laughs> like medieval Ren and Len, if that makes any sense. But yeah, and they team up with Fire Emblem characters from across different worlds. And so now they have to save the to save the kingdom from the dragon and hopefully may be able to save their mom, who's unfortunately got trapped in the kingdom as well by the dragon. So it's an interesting story. It's simple enough for Fire Emblem Warriors, and we just got reconfirmation that it's coming out in 2017. Okay, so then we got... A.G. Numa came out and talked about the Zelda DLC and how uh, in this DLC we get the Trial of the Sword, which is like this big trial. Uh, it's like a big shrine trial, except it's way more developed and leveled. Like at one point you're battling, only you're only able to battle enemies with a stick. And now you and then you go through battling different enemies, different bone, like different skeleton versions of enemies. There's and then there's uh there's points where it's cold inside. There's points where there's fire, and you're trying to you're, it's like a la layer of different enemies, and it's just so cool. And it still has this puzzle element to it, where you have to go through the shrine, try to get to the other end with your glider. It looked really interesting. We also got a uh, confirmation of some other stuff like Hero's Path, where you know you you can see where you've been along your journey for the past few times. We got uh, a different costumes like the Twilight, the shadow armor from Spirit Tracks. We got a look at the Tingle mat, not the Tingle, the Tingle outfit, and the Korok mask, which shakes when a Korok's nearby. So that's cool. Uh, we also got a look at Hero Mode, which is basically the hard mode of the game, where the enemies are a little bit tougher. Sometimes they come on on random paths with balloons and stuff on it, and so they're gonna come up randomly, and but you can still knock them out. And unfortunately, one thing that kind of creeped me out a little bit is that the enemies now can refill their health up, which is, uh, I've, I, 
I played Breath of the Wild. That's the long. That's the longest I've ever played a Zelda game, and it's awesome. And I already know what this, this is gonna be. Some of those enemies are already tough, so ooh, I don't. I don't like the idea that they refill the health gauge. So. so then, of course, that's a look DLC pack one. We then got a look at DLC pack, a little tease of DLC pack two, which was about the champ champions ballad, and it's supposedly based about the champions. Uh, before uh, based around the champions and the story of, along with Zelda, Link, and the four champions that helped them trying to defeat Ganon before, so I'm very interested to see how this goes. Um, and that's it. Um, they also confirmed Amiibo for all of them that you can use in Breath of the Wild. Okay, I, I kind of expected that. Okay, so anyways, we move on from there. We then get some third party. Just come back real quick. We got Reconfirmation of Mario and Rabbids King of Battle, August 29th. It's always great to see that, in my opinion. We get Reconfirmation of Rocket League. Again, it's coming out this holiday. It's coming out 2017, and it's going to have exclusive stuff for Nintendo, like Mario hats, uh, different costumes and stages. I hope, I hope that there is a special Mario Kart, Mario Kart car you can race with Rocket League. I hope that's the case, because that would be amazing. Uh, yeah. So, then we get to two bombs. Oh, two bombs in my mind. We get to the final act of the presentation itself, the showcase, which is Super Mario Odyssey. And it was amazing. It looked so cool. I loved it. I loved every single minute of that trailer. The only reason I haven't binged watched it yet is because I watched a little of the treehouse and I'm doing this right now, obviously. Uh, but it looked amazing. I loved it. The world looked cool. Ha the best way to open that trailer. There was a T-Rex. You coming out with a T-Rex and T-Rex just rocking down. I thought we were getting like a monster hunter at first. And then I see it's just normal T-Rex. And I'm like, what this is? And then I see the hat. And then I see Mario jumping off. And I'm, what? Why is it with the T-Rex? And, and it just looked cool. And then we get through the city. Then we see him on a little scooter going through the city like, What's up, y'all? What's up? I'm on scooter. I'm on scooter. And <laughs> it just looks so cool. And then we get a little more idea of the game. So Bowser, of course, is trying to marry Peach. And of course, he and we see the magic hat that Mario gets. And it turns out the magic hat is only is actually a top hat, but he disguised himself as Mario's actual hat so that way he can so that way he can uh, go through the worlds and traverse. And it turns out Mario's cap is ripped at one point. So I'm a little, that got me a little like, what? So we then move into uh, actual gameplay. And it turns out Mario can take his cap, throw it. And when it lands on some enemies or some elements in the world, he can go inside those things. Like if he sees a goom, now not every enemy, as I learned from the treehouse, not every enemy can do this. But when he takes his cap, he can throw it on a Goomba. And now he's in like the mind of the Goomba, and now he's walking, and he can like take other Goombas and like stack Goombas. He can become a Goomba Tower, which that was awesome. We then see uh, he can get inside a Bullet Bill. He can go through certain electronic wires and go through and zap himself to different areas. We see that there are of course that different coin system. It just looks really amazing. The visuals look outstanding the gameplay looked so cool i want it and that music that music that that jazz that like old town and music and it was so good i see i just want to just want to do the dance i'm not doing carlton dance no i'm not doing carlton dance but the game looked amazing i loved every single inch of that game i just it, that is the ultimate pre-order that I'm doing. I'm pre-ordering that game, hands down. And speaking of, it comes out, I thought November. It's coming out in October. Late October. Like, 27th of October. But it's... That is awesome! That was amazing to me! And it... I love... I loved every single inch of that game, obviously, as you can tell. And I thought it was awesome. And I, it's awesome, and as I learned from the Treehouse Direct, because I watched a little bit after, uh, there's also going to be new Amiibo, a wedding-themed Amiibo to Mario, Peach, and Bowser. Bowser in his suit. In his suit, yo. Uh, it, they, they look awesome, too, so 
I don't know if I'll pick those up, but I'm probably, well, I might. I don't know. So, that's the more Odyssey. That's enough of a great presentation alone, but, so, on the presentation portion at Super Mario Odyssey, I'm going to cut a little bit and say, in short, for the presentation, that was amazing. You had really good game reveals. You had a good number of surprises. Granted, it was only 30 minutes, but at the same time, I also realized that this was only for Switch. We didn't hear any 3DS games for that. So, at a, for the presentation itself, for what you're showing for Switch, that was great. What you did was fluid it was solid it had some surprises it had things that i that we liked that was great job nintendo that is a good that is an e3 win for nintendo which they haven't had in a minute so i'm very happy that they have this but here's what makes a good e3 win in my opinion is the thing that i'm going to separate from the presentation but i'm going to count for its overall grade when i get to the final grade uh, by the way a uh, minor grade for the presentation itself B plus around A. It's definitely if if there is any low points, it's that maybe maybe we could have got like a couple of release dates for maybe Fire Emblem Warriors and maybe a little maybe just an, one more game, maybe just to add a little to it in my opinion. But that's just that's just me. But for the minor for that for the presentation portion, it gets like a B plus to A to somewhere around A. But now we get to what gives it, this is probably going to go into the final grade, which is overall everything. And here's what definitely helps. And this is what I was really debating about when I was talking about this. Is whether or not I should include the Treehouse Live stuff with the presentation. But then I realized no, because there's clearly a difference. But during the Treehouse, they announced a bomb. They just dropped the bomb. Metroid! Re Samus's Return. It's a 2D Nintendo 3DS side scroller. First off, shut up if you think the Nintendo 3DS ain't worth nothing. Shut up. Just shut up right now because we got a Metroid on 3DS. Not only that, if you think of the scope of E3, Nintendo announced two Metroid titles. There are not enough words to describe how amazing this was in my mind. I was a little more interested in the 3DS title than Prime because I'm not, I I don't know about the first person. Though I did play Federation Force on 3DS, which is honestly decent, but that doesn't matter now. Metroid Samus's Return, I just saw the trailer and I was like, you win, you win, you win, you win, you win everything, you win. Two Metroids in one E3. I think that's more than anyone asked for, honestly. And so that's kind of where I was like split. Like, do I count this? But when I saw the Metroid, I kind of knew I at least had to count that and mention that. And now I kind of want to go back and watch the rest of Trio Slide and keep that up, see what's happening. So that was awesome. And I, and so that is it for right now. I, um, I will have the final grades for all the E3 press conferences later to later to later, probably like probably around Friday because that's when everything ends and I can take it all in. Uh, so and now because this is the last video for the E3 thoughts, I like to say thank you to all of you guys. Thank you for watching, sticking with this video series. So all of you who watch on the blog or on this on YouTube or have seen it, thank you to all. I also, I'd like to let you know, you can leave a comment. Leave comments. I want to know your feelings. I want to know how you feel about this. If you're excited, if you aren't excited, if you don't care, if you care so much that you're going to sell your organs to get this. Okay, don't. So I will say don't do that. But I cannot, words cannot express how much I am very thankful for you guys watching. I also want to thank to all of you who retweeted on Twitter, uh, especially um, Linkara, uh, Linkara from a top of the fourth wall who I've asked to retweet. Thank you for that as well. You've helped me to push this out even more. And I'm very thankful to not only Linkara, but all the people who have retweeted on Twitter. I'm very thankful for you to help me get, not only get my thoughts out there, but help bridge conversations as well. I hope that you enjoyed my videos because I enjoyed making them. I enjoyed talking about them with you guys. 
Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in. And you will see the final grades on the blog at, on, on the blog soon, probably around this Friday. This is Nintendo Game Point Plus. My name is Brian. Thank, thank you. Arigato. Merci beaucoup. Have a great E3.